Hello everybody and warm welcome to my channel Taro by Isabella. I hope you're all doing great and I'm very happy to see you here. Today's video will be a prediction video for the country of China and the country of Taiwan. Those two countries are quite connected to each other and there have been a lot of news about both China and Taiwan lately and I want to look into um, what is going on there. Is there any special events uh, going to happen during the six months to come? And to do this prediction, I'm going to use my crystal ball, my tarot cards, oracle cards and some dice. And for those who are new here to my channel, I will just do a short explanation about my crystal ball. And this is a quartz crystal ball and quartz crystals are very good energy conductors. They catch the energy that is already there out in the universe, transform it and transmit it to me, the receiver, and I can get the information as something I see, I hear, feel, taste or smell. So whatever information I receive, I will pass it further to you. And before we begin my prediction for um, Taiwan and China, I just need to concentrate for a few moments on my crystal ball and ask the powers, the forces to be with us so we can get as good, as accurate information as possible. So please hang on just for a moment and soon we'll begin. just need to put my glasses on for a few seconds and we'll see what we can find here for China and Taiwan. Okay. At the moment um, there are you know troubling times both for China and Taiwan and uh, I'm going to look for six months ahead approximately and as I said in my previous videos time is very difficult to predict on and um, this is always our approximate it could happen with this six months it can also be happen a little bit later it all depends on uh, if a vision is closer to me stronger or if it's further away. The first thing I saw here, I saw the sea between uh, China and Taiwan filled with warships. Almost like some kind of armada of ships heading for Taiwan. From China to Taiwan. Um, there, I, I cannot say precisely if there will be a real invasion from China and Taiwan, like China is going to take over Taiwan, or if it's just some kind of scare tactic. But the see the ocean, the waters between China and Taiwan, I see them filled with warships. And this could be end of February, could be March, but it's feels quite close. Yeah. I don't get like a full blown war between those two countries. I don't see it, but it will be quite scary when it starts. Regarding China, some kind of new outbreak will happen in in some parts of China. And this will be a different kind of disease. Not the one we had last time, it's a different kind. It's even more, this could be 
quite dangerous. I see this outbreak like in the north northwest of China. Mm. But it is not an outbreak that comes naturally. It is a man-made outbreak. Um, it's like they want to set China up or punish China. I don't know who that exactly is. Um, but this will um, be quite obvious. And this outbreak, for whatever kind of disease it is, will be stopped. Mm. Since I see some kind of medicine that can stop it. Not this, but some other kind of medicine. And a period of a lot of unrest in China waits ahead during this six months. Mm. Both internal sorry, in their political leadership and turmoil, disagreements, um, people disappearing from high position, other people coming in. So, yeah, some kind of turmoil uh, in the political leadership. also f feels like kind of awakening among the Chinese population mm. like they had some been blindfolded and they take off that and they see reality as it is many protests in China and it spreads from one big town to another I don't see famine in China. I see a lot of food, I see good crops and uh, yeah, the people will have enough to eat. They will try to open some big bug factories in China uh, or they already have done it. Mm. I see um, many of those bug factories burn, burn to the ground. Yeah. They will not continue to produce bugs. I also see a lot of protests in Shanghai. Um, new protests coming up. Uh, people realize we are many, they are few. And the human soul that cries out for liberty, um, that cry of liberty uh, will be awakened in many 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 people around in in china and taiwan and the airport in taiwan there are a lot of airports but one big airport for the capital will be closed and I see sleazy uh, you know light of people afraid of the light trying to sneak out but it's like they chase down in Taiwan I see it could be big corporations could be you know things like that 
they are trying to get rid of uh, important documents because I see documents burning, documents going down into this document destroying machines. Uh, but even if they're trying to destroy those documents, I see people have been um, secretly uh, taking copies of those documents and they will not cease to exist, but they will be on memory sticks, on, on, the, yeah, on memory, so they are still there. Some dirty stuff that have been going on uh, will be revealed and the connection to uh, United States will also be revealed. Who and what and when did what. That will lead to changes in the United States of America and also a lot of angry people due to what has been going on around those two countries. In the future, it, this is not during this following six months, it's further in the future. There will be big changes in China uh, regarding how they produce different things and what they produce. There will still be a lot of factory, a lot of things that will go on um, export to other countries but it will be produced in a more environment-friendly way. There will be more engagement in how to clean the air, clean the water and clean up the earth from pollution. A lot of little ones that disappear from China and Taiwan everywhere, uh, every year. Um, I see secret ways how those little ones disappear. I see those ways cut off and the um, distribution of little ones will be stopped. Normal people will be aware of this and this will be big 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 scandals in, um, in China and Taiwan. On the southeast corner of Taiwan, the southeast, there will be can be a quite big earthquake. And I see house shaking, and, and a risk for tsunami. And the production of weapons uh, could also increase in China and there will be exported um, to countries that are involved in, um, in the conflict, ongoing conflict at the moment. But it will not be Western countries.
four, maybe five, yeah, we can say almost four and a half very influent families in China. And um, some of those families have also connection to Taiwan. And I would call them crime families. Mm -hmm. And they are involved in a lot of not clean things. Mm -hmm. And those crime families, I see them disappear. Yes, both physically and symbolically. It's like they will not be there. There are parts of China that have a lot of desert also. And uh, since they will come out quite new, good technology, um, how to make desert flourish, and they will like start to rebuild or uh, big areas of desert land where people can move to and uh, cultivate the earth grow crops and uh, have quite a good life. I see big cities uh, in China. The population is going down. It's like there will be less people. They will not be so crowded in those big cities. And more people will move out to other areas. That will be, uh, you know, now nice housing and, and possibility to to live better lives, not so in not so crowded conditions. The Yellow River. I see the water rise a lot in, in that river, and that could be uh, dangerous to people that lives close to the shore. Some kind of uh, evacuation plan could come into practice during these six months. Some very corrupt uh, military personnel in Taiwan will be caught. And that will be looked onto very seriously. And I see red strings going from Taiwan to the States. A lot of strings, a lot of connections mm, that are also involved in this shady business. Well, that's what I could see in my crystal ball. Let's continue to the cards. If we can get some additional information about China and Taiwan from the cards. China and Taiwan. I'm going to take some oracle cards in that too. And some dice. So here, yeah. 
let's see we have a whip and fire playfulness watching a couple in love and someone who's thinking justice poverty mm. Yeah, some kind of escalation of a conflict. The whole world would be watching. I don't see this escalation uh, going to result in a full-blown war. It will calm down. Or, I said, diminish, disappear. Um, during this six months in China, there will be... Um, some kind of new rules, new laws that will help newwed couples to uh, start their life. Could be good loans or yeah, some kind of help also with housing. The thing I got very, very strong would not surprise me that during these six months it will be could come out a new law about eating dogs and that can be uh, forbidden really forbidden i'm gonna take some extra cards on china and taiwan some additional information just a moment is there any additional information It seems like minimal wages will um, be raised uh, and people will have more money for the work they do uh, and that can result in more happiness and people can feel more secure. So minimal wages will raise uh, a lot. And it will be easier to um, have a family and take care of their needs uh, with the work you do. And there will be a lot of financial changes in China during the six months. At the long term, it looks it's for the better for the people. The surveillance, the watching, the uh, AI um, face recognition, and social credit score and things like that. During these six months, I don't see it disappear. Uh, but I see people be more and more aware of it and more and more uh, saying no to it. They will be like in internal revolution against this control system. But on the other hand, when those uh, crime families, very important ones, disappear, there will not be so much need of this yeah, spy system on, on their citizens.
gonna take some last cards for China and Taiwan. If there is any last information to be said before we end this prediction video. Some last information for China, Taiwan. And some dice. One, two, and three. What does I say here? Okay, we have a young man. Deception, crack, sun, and a bullseye. What we have here, um, a lot of people have been living under a deception. And they had thought one thing, but the truth was another. And we have the sun in the center, so sunlight information will shine on those areas in both China and Taiwan that have been under deception, under lies. And that will um, make like a crack in both societies. And people will rise. There will be manifestations in both countries, both Taiwan and China. Mm. And a lot of people will be worried. Uh, it's like the human soul awaken, you know. Our, we are worth as much as they, our life is not less worth than yours. And this, um, you know, awakening, this power that every one of us uh, possesses will awake more in, um, in, in the populations of uh, China and Taiwan. Everything have a limit. Mm. I don't see big war between those countries. I see more like scary conflict, but not a big war with many people dead and bombs dropping on each side. Mm. Um, there are changes in the economy for both countries. It will be a big dip down and then it's gonna rise and be quite um, quite rich, yeah. As I said earlier, the people will have enough money to live good uh, on their wages when they get the, where they get paid from their work, their salaries. They gonna they will be able to live a good life on that money. I'm not sure it will be during the six months. Uh, time is difficult to predict them, but it looks like in the future there will be gold coins, real gold, uh, silver coins, real silver, uh, that will circulate as a as a possibility to pay, instead of banknotes, could be these coins, and they are quite valuable, and it's like real money. So some kind of gold coins that will uh, take over certain banknotes. Mm. Gold, silver coins. Yeah. 
women will have more value in China. During these uh, six months, um, the female girls will receive more value. Um, that's all traditions goes far back, but more status. Well, that was my reading for uh, China and Taiwan. And if you have liked what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press the like button, share button and subscription button. And to all of you beautiful, hardworking, strong people of China and Taiwan, wish all the best, be strong. Um, remember, they are few, you are many and your lives is as much worse and as those in high position and wish all the best be courageous help each other and things look better for you in the future even it will be some turmoil in the months to come to all of you thank you for watching and if you like what you have seen and heard, please don't forget to press like button, share button and subscription button. See you soon. Bye bye.